friendly neighbor Spidey. <laughs> morning. Hey, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good. You want some of those morning winning lady looks? I do, please. <laughs> you knew. Come and eat me. Come on. I really do need a new pair of shoes. <laughs> I walk down the street. I'm a half a block down the street, and I'm like, you know what? He didn't have a lot left. I should go buy him out. So I did. I went back, and I bought the rest that he had. Like, how many do you have? You know what? Just give me them all, please. You sure? But anyway, so there was the four, and then I bought 11 more. Um, it's now become an addiction. I've now gone off the rails, if you will. Get everything revealed, and then I will examine it, and then I will start jumping up and down and shouting with joy. Ready? Ready for that? All right, so after $75 spent, I made five bucks. All right, then. But I got four more. So Lady Luck might be in my favor. You don't know. And you know, I just want to rip. But there's a second chance drawing, so I'm going to stick it down in my pile. My ever-growing pile. Perhaps one of these tickets, they'll be a winner. And then I'll be a winner. I just want to be a winner! Thank you for calling Oregon's Gambling Helpline. May I have your first name? Frank. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm um, okay. Do you want to speak to a gambling counselor? Please. Hi, this is Diane. Can help me? Hi, Diane. Uh, my name's Frank. Frank Barish. Uh-huh. Are you calling because you're having problems with gambling? I, I, I am. I'm having a big problem. Something that you're trying to stop? Well, well here, here's the problem. I've been... Back on July 4th, I won $500 with the Lady Luck Scratchers. And, uh, well, I've been buying uh -huh. them. I've been buying them ever since, and... You know, couple, maybe a couple hundred dollars a week, sometimes, sometimes only a hundred dollars a week. See, I, I kind of got it under control where I'd, I'd limit how many Lady Lux I'd buy, but then they stopped carrying them, and then no one's got Lady Luck tickets anymore. They have crossword aces and lucky dragons and cash is king, but no more. So now, instead of getting up there and going... Okay, just give me two Lady Lux. I don't know what to buy because there's so many different kinds. So, uh, do you know when they're bringing the Lady Lux back? No. Because uh, I don't that's really. That's not what we do. We uh, don't. We don't deal with any kind of that. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want treatment? Do you want to in getting some treatment to stop gambling? Well, I, I, I just don't know how, I mean, I, I really thought I was going to win the big money with the Lady Lux, and now they're not around, so I don't know if I want to live in Oregon anymore. Okay. That's crazy. What are you doing, a video? Do you have any tidbits of wisdom? Yes. May you always have sun in your back, win in your sail, and clean your room. Don't drink all my rum. Right now, here about We're still finding complex it's me and my stuff I'm just bundled up in a as many layers as I can and trying to keep warm <laughs> Jesus! Have an 
know what you're going to say. Jesus? No. You're not Jesus anymore? I thought you were Jesus. Ted Neely played Jesus Christ Superstar. I met him. He would never do that. <laughs> he would have been a friendlier Jesus, right? Definitely. <laughs> he is so extremely friendly. Uh, that, that Jesus was having a bad day just now, I guess. Oh, I know. I guess once he gets in the Mercedes, he's not working he anymore. Grab him, <laughs> have a great day. Hi there. Any words of wisdom for the people there, Superman? Uh, try not to shove Superman when they're walking by. That always works. Good, good words of wisdom. Uh, 35 years. Yeah, I, I go back and forth. I live in New York too. <laughs> hey, any, you photograph Any words of wisdom? I'm a, yeah, I'm fixing to go in your pockets <laughs> and take your money for you having that camera in my face. Can you give me some money? You! You oh, this is my You oh, you oh, Mr. Muscles has arrived. Oh, my God, it's cold. First night homeless. <sighs> it's a little bit chilly. Tomorrow I should buy a California lottery ticket and maybe, maybe it'll be a winner and then I'll be a winner. <laughs> it could happen. Ooh, breakfast. Uh, but right now I'm just very cold. Very, very cold. Found a kumquat tree. At least I hope they're kumquat. I don't know what they are. There, but they are. They're not ripe yet. Maybe these are ripe. Here's a ripe one. That's pretty delicious. Hmm. Ripe ones are up here. Hmm. See, being homeless is cool. Sometimes you get a free breakfast. Hmm. Hmm. And if I wanted to spice it up, there's rosemary here too. Hmm. Spicy. I don't think they're kumquats. They get too many seeds. What the heck is this? Hope it's not poisonous. It's too delicious to be poisonous. It can't be. Mm. Thank you, tree. Mm. That's a good breakfast. The best part about this delicious tree? Look what's up there. That's right, folks. I'm eating free fruit off a tree under the shadow of the Hollywood sign. Just like a movie star. Uh, California sunrise. Glorious. <sighs> Talk about being weighed down by your stuff. We have the uh, number 18 and number 14. Please. It's a beautiful California morning out there, huh? Have a great day. So I had a good feeling about the spicy cash, but it wasn't a winner. So now, tripling crossword, this one's going to be the winner. Because that one wasn't, this one will be. Come on. Welcome me to California with a good win, won't you? So, tripling crossword, I uh, didn't win that one either. This is a very... Uh, unfortunate start here California so out of all the words I only got one word which isn't worth diddly squat the word I got was ask as in ask me why I keep spending money on lottery tickets <sighs> oh my god mm. in and out that's what a hamburger is all about oh yeah I've waited for this for a long time. Ah, oh, now I'm home. That's right. Eating one meal a day and carrying around a big backpack? I don't know why more people don't try the homeless diet. Oh boy, am I gonna lose some weight. Right here. 
Yeah. Are you Juan? Hey, yeah. How you doing? How you doing, man? I heard you you have some tidbits of wisdom. I have a lot of tits and a little bit of wisdom. <laughs> That's all you need. Prepare your cameras to take photos uh, with Mr. Muscles, uh, Mr. Muscles has arrived. Mr. Muscles has arrived. You know, come on, let's get a photo. Okay. Stand here. Okay. Oh, you have a camera? Mr. Muscles has arrived! Can you hold this? Over here. Hold like this. Hold like this. Say, you know, say, you know, say, you know, say, you know. You know! You know! Stay right there. One, one more. This time, no more. Pose, pose. Say, you know, pose. Say, you know. Say, you know. You know. You know. You know. You know. <laughs> that got awkward quick. <laughs> now he's gonna grope your friend. <laughs> you know, you know. Hold on, one more Okay, but Mr. Muscles has arrived. Mr. Muscles has arrived. Prepare your cameras to take photos with Mr. Muscles. Mr. Muscles has arrived. Mr. Muscles has arrived. You know. <laughs> you know who I haven't seen in a while? Mickey Mouse. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh my goodness. What's up? Any tidbits of wisdom for the people? That's all you got? Oh, that's right, you don't talk. You're like Harpo Marx, right? There you go, sir. Everyone gets one. It's my new movie. It's called For the Love of Money. All right. You know, uh, I'll check it this out. This is my first cousin from Disney Channel, That's So Raven. This is us on our Arsenio Hall show. Nice. Okay. And we are saying hi to the people, man. It's a signed autograph DVD. What we say it's a $20 value. You can give a love off for anything you have. I don't have any money, man. I'll watch it for you and I'll. Okay. Well, you know, do anything. Take it home for anything. I got no money. I'm like money. Do you need an ATM machine? I got no money. Okay. Take it back? Okay. Take it back. Okay. Take it back. You know who I bet will have tidbits of wisdom? I bet Batman would. I bet Batman wouldn't just ignore me. I just get the cold shoulder from Batman. Batman? You being mean, Batman? You don't have any tidbits of wisdom, Batman? Who is that? <laughs> Almost assaulted by Batman. I don't, I don't think that's the real Batman. Pretty sure that uh, that was an awkward encounter. Pretty sure Michael Keaton wouldn't have done that to me. Okay, now Batman was just really mean to me. Will Batgirl be nicer? Of course. Oh, well, that's better. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mickey's mad because I didn't give him any money. It's the greatest American hero. I love that show. Uh, thanks, somebody. Oh, what's up, man? Give me a call. It'd be really cool if I ran into like Freddy Krueger. Oh my God Almighty! Ah. Did I just dream that? Again. Now lift the head up again. I want to see under the mask. Okay, let me take a look. No, it's okay. I don't have any money, I'm sorry. Totally broke. Does that change it? Okay, it's, it's videoing. 
What's that? No I have no change. I have a dollar to my name. Sorry, Minnie. Mickey already tried to shake me down. But, well, Mickey already tried to shake me down. I didn't have any money then. It's a family thing. All right. Bought a lottery ticket. I need someone to bless it. Elvis? See? How can this lottery ticket go wrong? It was in Elvis's hand. That's going to be a winner. You know it's going to be a winner. But bless my lottery ticket. SpongeBob. Here. It's going to touch SpongeBob too. Okay. Whoops. Huh? <laughs> Schizophrenic SpongeBob. I'm gonna have Marilyn scratch my lottery ticket. What do you think, Marilyn? Gonna be a winner? So you know this is the magic ticket. Elvis, SpongeBob, and Marilyn Monroe have all blessed this ticket. That's an all-star cast, my friends. So I'm gonna scratch it now, and then, uh, well, you know what happens next? You know what happens next. How can this not be a winner? All right, let's see. Um. That must have not been the real SpongeBob SquarePants. That's all I can say, because this is not a winner. And that's that's the only possible explanation that I can come up with. Yeah, it's good. Somebody called the authorities. They're out of... We better arrest that SpongeBob. He's an imposter. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. What, does this beard make me look homeless? I had a nice dinner at my friend's house. Visiting an old friend. Can't stay with him, though, because his mom's in town. And it's a small apartment. But it was nice to see him. Nice to get fed and a nice dinner. And now I shall go outside and find a nice place to sleep. It's kind of a different part of town. There's a great park there, but you can't sleep there. They patrol it. No sleeping allowed. The park is closed. Great park to sleep in. Can't sleep there. Thanks, Obama. Just kidding. I'll find a spot. Oh, what do you think of my new hair? This beard makes me look less homeless. See? Big backpack in the back, backpack in the front. That makes me look homeless, but not the beard. Beard does not make me look homeless anymore. This is a job getting beard. That's what this is. I shaved my head, got my beard nice and tight. I don't look homeless when I'm not carrying these bags and I shall get a job here in this great city. The city of angels. It's a city of angels, I tell you. Crossing the street. Because I'm a badass. Badasses cross the street. They run a little because that car doesn't look like it's slowing down. Thank you, car. Frightening me by not slowing down. Alrighty. Let's find a nice place to camp for the evening. I have to be back at the food stamp office in the morning, so I'm just going to stay in this area. See if I can find a nice spot. Not get killed. A bit of a park here. Oh, there's people sleeping in it. And I was being loud. Now they're mad at me. So yeah, you can sleep here. That guy is. See that guy? That guy's sleeping in the park, so I will too. Find a nice spot. So yeah, I think that's a spot. Let's see. Right here by this memorial thing. I should be quiet though, there are people sleeping. And the food stamp office. It's right there. I can get some sleep, wake up and walk right to the food stamp office and the state of California will buy me some meals. Thank you, California. Give me some food money. I appreciate it. And yes, yes, I know you cannot use food stamps to buy lottery tickets. I knew that. I wasn't gonna. Alrighty. Good night, folks. So being on the top step, I figured I'd be out of the reach of the sprinklers, but no. They sprinkle the fucking cement. Four in the morning, I wake in by with sprinkler to the face. Four in the morning, really? God damn it.
Now everything's soaking wet. My pillow, my sleeping bag, my fucking bags. My pillow is soaking wet. Dude's just laying there, he doesn't care. He's enjoying the rainstorm. As opposed to me. Just got my stuff fucking soaked. Ah, fucking. Hey, look. There's a dry spot. Sprinklers don't get that little dry spot. They get the top of the step where I was sleeping, but not the dry spot. So I guess I'll sleep in the dry spot now. My socks are wet from jumping up and trying to run away from the hose of a fucking sprinkler. Pillow is soaking wet. Oh, really? 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 Morning, everybody. So I got a room. I stayed in California. Chipped in. Gave me this room for two weeks. So I got two weeks to make stuff happen. If they make stuff happen and move on up in the world, happy good. Because you only get two weeks in this awesome place. The bathrooms, it's a common bathroom down the hall and it smells about as you can imagine. I got a locker and I have to turn in the key. When you leave the building, you have to turn in the key and then when you come back, you have to get your key back from the front desk. And you have to be in by midnight, there's a curfew. And you have to check in every day by 9.30 a.m. or they kick you out. So those are the rules. I will follow them. And I will make something happen in the next two weeks. Just watch. Home sweet home. Muppets came from here. That's where the Muppets were invented. Welcome to Hollywood, you have arrived. This is the El Polio Loco that Brad Pitt worked at when he first moved to California. Go on MTV, tell them your deepest, darkest secrets, get paid and get famous. Ha <laughs> ha, Hollywood. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I got a show, I finally, all right. Okay, folks, Mr. Muscles has arrived. Mr. Muzzle had arrived. Prepare your cameras to take photos of the See any stars yet? Shelly Jones. Uh, anyone else? Not yet. She was the first one to get here. Oh, okay. You sure it wasn't if someone dressed up as Shirley Jones now? I didn't ask her. They wouldn't <laughs> let me in. <laughs> Well, if she tries to if she tries to get a tip from you, it's not the real one. Right. That's, the, how, you, right. that's how you can tell. That's how you tell. <laughs> Fantastic! You know Mr. Muzzle's had a ride! You know Mr. Muzzle's had a ride! Prepare your camera to take photos with Mr. Muzzle! Mr. Muzzle's had a ride! Mr. Muzzle's had a ride! You know! Okay. That's a ride! I don't know, this guy might be more interesting over here though. Show what's up, Juan! Show what's up, Juan! Hey sir, I do get donations. What's that? I do posts for donations. Man, I got no money. I'm homeless right now. That's the Are you making a video? I'm just filming crazy shit. Well, just, <laughs> and you're hey, part of the crazy shit. Well, you know, yeah, but that's video. You should uh, do something with it. Alright. Put it. Uh, send it to YouTube. There you go. That's Make definitely. Mr. Muscles famous. You know? <laughs> My Ferrari has arrived. But I was sitting back. Then I want to get too close to the bus stop. 
fill the space they're giving. Taking his picture. In case I get famous, you can say, hey, that's that guy. Yeah. Hey, no. Come on, guys. Don't be. Aw, the Ferrari didn't want to pick me up. That ain't right. Girl in there was hot, though. <laughs> Chinatown looking for looking for ginseng. I know there's ginseng here somewhere. One of these places will have ginseng. There used to be ginseng stores on every corner. Now, now I can't find any ginseng. It's gotta be ginseng. It's Chinatown for crying out loud. You like you buy? You buy ginseng now? Okay, here's an official disclaimer. Official disclaimer from Mindswell Films. This is an official disclaimer from Mindswell Films. Frank Barris is not racist. Frank Barris likes to be funny. He likes to make fun of different races while being funny. Frank is a full-blooded Jew and makes more Jew jokes than Jesus. So please don't take offense at any of his caricatures as he means no harm. Oh, Chinatown, you like? Oh, Chinese haircut, six dollars. Oh. Oh, Chinese lingerie. For very small women, no big boobies. I'm not sure what they were saying, but it sounded funny. Do you know where there's an herbal store around here that sells like ginseng? I don't know. Chinatown. This place used to be lousy with ginseng. What's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nice. Hello. Hi. You have uh, the loose American ginseng? Big. Uh, the sliced? That's the good stuff. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, how much do you want? It's three dollars worth. Three dollars? Yeah. I was up in Oregon and there were no places like this. I had nowhere to get it. <laughs> How to come back to California for the good ginseng. Good to the Chinese up store. What's that? Good to the Chinese up store. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So you get energy. energy. Exactly. It relaxes you and gives you energy. It's magic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. I got my ginseng. Oh, yes, I did. This ginseng. Oh, you can just feel it relaxing your body and your soul. But it doesn't like, it's not like a downer. It doesn't, it relaxes you, but it gives you energy, like the man said. It's magical. American ginseng. Eat it, chew it, love it, enjoy it. Wish me luck.
go over to Beverly Hills and try to sell me some art. I'm gonna sell some art today, just to watch. Now I'm in Beverly Hills, that is. And what is this, Rodeo Drive, Rodeo, Rodeo Drive. I wonder if they sell weed at that place. Would you like to buy some sneakers at Saks Fifth Avenue? They're only a million dollars each. <laughs> a deal, a bargain. Knott's Berry Farm invented the boysenberry. Beverly Hills has their own kind of berry. It's the Beverly Hills berry. That's what that is. It's like a boysenberry, but different. It's got a richer flavor to it. It's a building made entirely out of silver. The Sterling Building. It's made of silver. This place here sells accessories just for your dimples. <laughs> oh, how niche is that? Hey look, they got a bar just for beautiful people. That guy didn't go in because he knows he's not beautiful enough. That's as ethnic as they get here in Beverly Hills. There's a bank. There's a bank. There's a bank. There's a bank. Another bank. And another bank. So to Beverly Hills, I should call it Bankerly Hills. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, I've been better. <laughs> this is about. <laughs> this is about to be the most embarrassing transaction at a bank in my life. I have five dollars in savings. I need to take five out. I need to put one dollar into checking to cover something that I know is about to clear, and I'll take okay. the other four dollars. Do you have your ID with you? Yes, you don't see many transactions like this in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Really? Not, I mean, because we don't only like have uh, a lot of the employees come in here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what you mean. Don't worry, you're better off than me. You got more money than me. <laughs> that. Does that make you feel better? Five, $5. You're doing that bad now, huh? Yeah, I'm down. I hope it's almost payday. Yeah, but I hand it over. So it's like a lot of people are like, oh, it's payday. What does that mean? I hand it over. Yeah, payday just I means you're giving it to someone else. Pretty yeah? much. So I'm pretty much left the same, so don't worry. I just got here from Oregon. I don't have a job yet, so you're a little ahead of me. At least you have the payday. With me right now, this is the last four dollars. <laughs> well, good luck. You'll, you'll, you'll be good. Though. Thanks. I hope so. It's free. It's free art. Anyone? Free? Good. Is the manager here? Yeah. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. I'm an artist, and I'm looking, basically, kind of doing kind of an art project to see the power of art. And I'm going like to restaurants that I like, and offering the manager a piece of art in exchange for a meal. Oh, I'm okay. I'm not interested though. No. Okay. Yeah. Thanks anyway, buddy. Right. Check out my website though. There's some cool art on there. Okay. Cool, man. That's a lot. Thanks. I guess I don't get to try their paleo burger. Oh well. I shall go hungry a little longer. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm uh, giving away free art to promote my website. Would you like a piece of art? Any, yeah, what's the, what's the, what's the catch? <laughs> no? Okay. I just want people to visit my website. Oh, okay. Let me see what it is. Yeah. Hey, cutie. I have my trying to sit things. Do I go get? I do go get DVDs. It's time for the Memorial Day sales event at Freeway. Interesting, that's for sure. Yeah. You know, I got a DVD with you. Okay. Let me, let me, sorry about that. You'll look at it, huh? I'll look at it later. <laughs> good luck, buddy. Thanks, man. You guys have a good one. Yeah. So I'm impromptu French fry eating. Yummy. So I haven't eaten all day. Walking past this restaurant. Someone left all these fries on the table. You know, I think I'm gonna have to stop and eat them. Mmm, act like I belong here. Mmm, two fries. Not too cold. Giving away free art today. It goes like a piece of art. Hi. Hi. How are you? 
Good. I'm giving away free art just to promote my website. Would you like a free piece of art? Uh, no, take a look? Uh, How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Um, I'm an artist and I'm just trying to promote my website and I'm giving away free art. Do you want, oh. a, you want a piece of art? I would love a piece of art. In fact, stay right here. I'll give you something in return. I'm an artist too. Oh, cool. This is an original show that's going up downtown that I'm oh, in. Nice. Oh, nice. But the girls in the show wrote, about, wrote it herself, so you Change. can take that and see some yeah. art downtown. And here's my, my card. Perfect. And here's the art. The ones with the silver dot are the free ones. Okay. And I have a whole other thing of free ones, too, if you don't find something you like in there. With the silver dot meaning? Silver dot are the free ones. The gold dot are a thousand, and all the rest are, five, are a hundred. That's something I had an old headshot and I just kept so changing. Cool. That's cool too. It works either way, you can do it upside down too. I just started using bigger ones. Yeah, these are really cool. Thank you. My friends are all artists too, so I oh, need to cool. look at all of their stuff as well. Yeah, I definitely want to check out this show. My roommate's obsessive about what I hang on the walls. So I'm trying to find <laughs> something that I think she'd like agree with. Yeah. yeah. That like I said, that, these are all all oh. free ones. Thank you. Okay. I also have adult art too, but I don't bring that out <laughs> unless people want to see it for sure. I like this one. Yeah. This one just. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. All right. Thank that's you. That's awesome. I like that one too. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you. And I will try to check out your show. Yeah, come see it. We've all kinds of like, cabarets and stuff that oh, are yeah? throughout the week here, like five bucks. Nice. So come check. Have a good day. You too, Michaela. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. These are called magazines. They're like a really slow internet connection and you have to turn the pages individually. It's an old timey thing. Light bulbs are so bright they have to put sunglasses on. That's what this place is. That's a fancy place called Chipotle. Very fancy food. I believe it's pronounced Subway. 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 That's what it is. Sub, Subway. It's very, it's very prestigious Beverly Hills establishment. This place here, it only sells Tesla cars. That <laughs> was just a joke. These guys yeah, dress no, really neat. Amazing. There's a bank, and an evil bank at that. Oh, Beverly Hills. Oh, that guy was right there. So nine, please.
Thank you. Just like that, home sweet home. You know, I had a really bad day, all kinds of stuff went wrong, but then I went to a comedy show and I saw Eddie Pepitone. Eddie Pepitone, doing a longer set <laughs> at the Nerd Melt Theater. Oh, what a show! <laughs> Even that cab liked it. Thank you for making a noise when I'm doing a video. Anyway, it was a great show. Eddie Pepitone, you're hilarious. Good luck with that next special. And uh, with working out all your problems with your dog. <laughs> Didn't sound right. <laughs> he had a bit. He had to be there. I have six dollars to my name, and I just spent five of them going to see Eddie Pepitone live. I needed a laugh, and it was worth it. Tomorrow I shall try to sell some art, maybe do some begging in the street. And if none of that works, I'll pawn my guitar. I got rid of everything just now, bro. Everything I got rid of. You understand? I don't what? understand. What are you talking about? Remember I came up to you said before and I said I have some, you know what I'm saying? And you said, oh, nobody's going to, you look like a detective or DA or whatever bullshit you said. Uh -huh. Which was fucking bullshit. I just got rid of it in 30 minutes. Blow. Whoa, dude, really? Yeah, I'm not kidding you. I'm going home. I, 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 I don't think you're kidding me, dude. I'm not kidding you. You're not kidding me? I kid you not. You kid me not. I kid you not. My All right, then. Thank, Nick, thank you, you from, for coming. Hey, listen, listen to me. You what? look like one of those motherfuckers from Columbine High School, motherfucker. Uh, what? Are you from Denver? No, I'm not from Denver. Are you from Denver? I'm still not from Denver. Did you think looking around would make me from Denver? No, me looking you around, uh, cause uh, you look a, you look like a spooky motherfucker. That's why I'm just. I look. Also, you have a nice phone there, bro. I'm just that phone right there. That banana peel is yours. I, I hope you're not fucking littering, you little prick. No, you wouldn't. You better pick you wouldn't up that banana peel and shove it up your ass, or something. All right then, narc. All right, what? I said all right then, sir. Narc. What? You you're calling me a narc? Don't ever fucking. Don't you call ever me call me a narc, dude. Fucking thing ever. In your head. With that thing in your head. Hey, you want to hear a Brooklyn accent? It's right here, yeah. yeah. Hey, it's fucking right over here, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, Vinny. Hey, yo, Vinny, get over here, bro. You see this really nice guy over here? Now, you like some lasagna or some linguine with a mozzarella cheese? Uh, what would you I like? just or like to be left alone, because you've uh, been harassing me for you, a while now. Would you like to just suck a big dick? I'd like, like you that? to go away. Yeah, go but fuck yourself, yo, you fuck. All right. Your fucking, put your carpet around your Are we almost done? Not almost, no, we gotta fight a few more minutes. To oh, go. good! <laughs> Round three! Listen, what the fuck? What, what are you acting like Tom Cruise? Why are you bothering me? me? I'm not bothering you, pal. I think that's You're up to weird. me to decide whether or not it's. Street. I have a right to speak. Middle of the street? Do you street? not know what a sidewalk is? Yeah, and I have a right to be here. So sidewalk. go finish no, walking. I'm not bothering you. I have a right to be here. This is my How can you too. determine if whether or not I'm being backyard, bothered by you? If I came to your backyard, then that's bothering you. This is a public place. Don't sit here. Don't sit here, you little fucking I'm prick. thinking of... I'm, I'm you're thinking, you fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck. You eh? watch a lot of TV and a lot of movies. Eh? You watch a lot of How movies. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me, huh? Uh -huh. Tell me. Tell me what's funny. Are we almost done? No, we're not almost fucking oh, done, you fucking Lord. prick. Hey, what do you got over there? Candy, you little fucking foodie bastard, you? Uh <laughs> Trying to get a starring role?
I want to get a Star Wars. Yeah. Who directed, producer, I'm and guessing you're an actor. I am an actor, pal. Yes, yes you sure I are. How the fuck would you like to write a script together, pal? I would not like that. You would not? Well, who the fuck needs you then, bro? All right, Look, then. What is that booklet over there? Still not done? Still not done? Are we almost done, dude? Because I was busy. You were busy, yeah? yeah. <laughs> were we busy? Doing I was writing, dude. What? What, what do you Before mean? you harassed me the second time, I'm I was right. I'm not harassing you, pal. This is a public place. Nobody's harassing you. How do you not understand that it's up to me to decide whether or not I'm feeling harassed by you? Yeah, but I'm not harassing you. But it, it, from my you're perspective, you are. Because I'm standing here and you're sitting You're not the standing there. You're what? You came back to tell me you you're not a cop, back, dude. Right there, you I'm came all the way back to tell me you're not a cop. Uh, first of all, I didn't come back here to tell you I'm not a cop. I didn't even speak of that. You didn't? Oh, no, I didn't. Did I, I hallucinate that? I got that? rid of all that. And you said, oh, nobody's going to, you look like a detective or DA or whatever bullshit you said. Uh -huh. Which was fucking bullshit. All that shit. Oh, that's right. You said that I couldn't fucking do. I didn't say that. that. pissed me off, you fucking I never said that. little fucking prick. I discouraged your weed dealing? You didn't discourage. Listen, you just said that. I'm not a dealer, bro, you fuck. What are you talking about? You, just... you didn't discourage me, you little fuck, but you tried to. And don't you ever fucking do that again. <laughs> are you almost done, dude? And scene. Yes, I am. All right, then. Alrighty then! You can leave now, dude. I don't believe that, man. No, but you can leave. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is actually a great actor. He sure. Okay, tell me one question I'm going to ask you, and you give me an answer, and then I'll leave, okay? I promise. Okay? Who's your favorite actor? You! No, honestly. I'm on. saying it, don't dude. No, I ain't bullshitting you. You were the greatest actor of all time. I think you're the greatest actor of all time. Uh -huh. well. Especially with that fucking, uh, with that fucking thing in the head. Uh -huh. What the fuck is that, bro? Uh, where's that? <laughs> where's so that you thing? DEA or FBI? I'm not a DEA. I'm not an FBI. I'm just a loyal civil citizen. I could read faces quick enough to know which of those was the one that's never mind. Civil citizen. That's what I am. Civil nice, citizen. Loyal civil citizen. Okay. That's right, baby. That's, that's an right. odd. Is that your car right there, bro? Is that, that your car right there, my yeah. nigga? Oh, I'm gonna sing you a song. Watch no. this. I thought, no, you said that was the last thing. I'm gonna sing you a song and then I'll be. Okay? okay. You have to listen to me. Do have, I? And you have to Do clap. I? Uh huh. You have to clap at the end. Okay. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends drive a Porsche. Uh -huh. I'm the only one left. So you're so singing the Lord, song you from my You're singing the song from my film. No Lord, won't you buy me Mercedes Benz? My friends, they all have Porsches and I got to make amends. Oh Lord, won't you buy me Mercedes Benz? My friends, they all have Porsches and I got to make amends. Little Janice for you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Wow. I just got to cut the footage of me singing it. And then... Get the fuck out of the neighborhood, son. All right, officer. Listen, is that your banana peel? Yes, officer. It's my banana peel. Did you put a banana peel Are you going away soon? You no, paid by the hour or are you salary? No, no. Listen, I'll give you a bonus right now. You know what that bonus is? Huh. That bonus is this. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah. What do you have that fit, bro? Listen, this is no. Dude, just go away, dude. dude please. Fuck you, bro. This is a public. Oh. This is a public place. Right. No, I'll go away. All right, just sit, All sit, right, sit, dude. sit. Fucking sit, a, dude. Sit down. I'm leaving. Really? Yes, I am. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too, brother. See, I do have a big heart because I left. Thank you, officer. After eight years, it's great when they finally walk away. Listen, you fucked. I'm not an officer. Okay? Oh my God, still. Fuck you. Okay. Okay. Oh, you've made the point. You want to piss me off? No, I really don't. Huh? Do you want to fucking piss me off? Oh, Jesus. Don't, hey, don't, listen, don't tell me you get word in front of me. Which word? O or Jesus? Yes. You understand? O is not a word, you fucking dumb fuck. It is if there's an H at the end of it. Now, please, for the fourth fucking time. If you mention, if you say one more word, you will go to the bathroom. I will lock you up in the bathroom. I like your boots, man. Oh, thank you. How much did you buy it for? About, about 15, 16 dollars? The Air Force bought them for me. Oh, the Air Force bought them, dude? Yeah. Oh, what is it? The Air Force bought them? 
yeah, I was working at an Air Force base. They bought me some boots four years ago. Oh, shit. And I'm wearing them now, and they're all beat up. So why are you talking about them? They look good. I like them. Do they look good? Yeah, they really do. I really? like them. All right. Why thanks. would I mention them? Then? I don't know. And I really like your hat. Too, oh, so good. Oh, okay. Listen, you were in the Air Force? No, I was not in the Air Force. How many years? None. About two months. So how the fuck did you get their boots? Because I was working in their kitchen. You're working in their kitchen? <laughs> You're doing the Do you repeat toast everything I'm salads? saying? Ah, ah, ah. Ah. You toast the salad, oh, bro? Oh, dude. <laughs> Please, go away. <laughs> no, listen, listen. Bro, you were in the kitchen with the, with, with all those, you know, hunky soldiers, bro. Yeah. So did you get did you get tempted to toss a salad for them? Oh, my God. <laughs> with tomatoes and dressing? Bye. Narc. Listen, you fuck. I'm not a narc. I Relax. Know. Why would you even say that, bro? I don't know. See, I'm just thinking, why would I say that? Because I know that's going to make you come back and talk to me more. Why would I say yeah, it when so it makes you come you back and talk to me? You were leaving. Home. I'm trying to go home. And I call you a narc, and now it's another four I'm minutes to go of this home, shit. Go to sleep, pal, and you just keep messing with me. I don't, that's I don't that's what's happening here. I don't fucking appreciate it. Good night. Pal. Good morning. All it's right. morning already because of you. Really? Good night. Good night it was 15, 16 minutes ago. And scene. And cut. Oh, Jesus, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. We did a scene, right? But now I gotta get paid. Nah, <laughs> please go, go away. I gotta get paid. Yeah. Or well, you gotta give me a platter, food platter, or a yeah. salmon platter. Yeah, down that way. Just walk down to the end of that the sidewalk. Over there, yeah, right? it's over there. Yeah, it's over there. all the people? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're listening to... Oh, dear Lord. What are you doing? <laughs> Listen, pal, pal. Are we cool? We good? We're cool, brother. I'll see you later. All right, thank you. Don't tell me with an attitude like this, because I don't appreciate it, damn it. Peace. Thank you. Peace. Good night. Would you like some food? Oh my god. <laughs> Take it to your girlfriend or to your boyfriend's house. Oops, sorry. Not very cool. Look at it. Oh, you took a picture. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, he. <laughs> oh, Jesus, no. I did not take a picture of you. Yes, you did. You pointed the I photo. thought about it and I realized you were too far away and I couldn't see anything. Fuck if you thought about it, because I'm gonna actually fucking do it. Alright then. Hey, well, you can show you can show middle finger. Can I you? I can, you'll let me? Wow, dude. Let me know when you were done, because I'm tired of scratching my face with my middle finger. You get paid extra for that? And one more. Oh, I do one on the side. Check it, make sure it's good. Look at that. That's you. All right, good. You There's like that? that's the keeper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I saw it. I'm gonna remember you. You're fucking. Yes, you sure you? will. You've been doing this all night to me. You're fucking stuttering. <laughs> what are you talking you about, dude? Go what away. Am I, what am I, a fucking mirage? <laughs> I'm asking you for a fucking drink. Have I not? Wow. Dude. Huh? Where the fuck is my drink, huh? Where's my drink, you fuck? Where's my drink? Where's my martini? Please go away, dude. Yeah, but why would you do this to me, bro? You see what you're doing? Are you fucking that? kidding me, that's dude? That's another two hours go of torture. Go away. So that's two hours of torture right no, now. No, yeah, dude. But you pointed the phone at me, bro. Oh, why would you do that? Geez. Why the fuck would you do that, huh? You fucking prick. Say sorry right now, I'm sir. I'm sorry right now, sir. Thank you very much. Have a good night. You too. Thank you very much. What? Our security? In my security? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it open? Doesn't look open. Do you, do you get it open? Why would I get it open? Well, I'm, uh, do you work here? No. Are you responsible for this? No. Are you? No. Do you know who uh, Vicente Fernandez is? No. For real? For real. So you don't know me? I don't know you. Are you serious? Uh huh. Have you ever heard of TMZ? Nope. TMZ? All the celebrities? Nope. Have you heard of uh, Kanye West? Nope. Kim Kardashian? Nope. Never heard of him. Uh, what kind of music are you into? What's that? What kind of music are you into? Uh, Mozart mostly. Okay. Um, Some yeah. Beethoven, his earlier stuff. Really? You like his later stuff? Of course. Ah. So you into his, uh, his beginner You with mode. this guy? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh -huh.
Okay. Yeah, she's one of my groupies. Okay. Of course, you know? Yeah. You know, groupies, I'm just saying. What's happening here? I'm just saying, I'm all, I was just wondering if you could get this, this thing open. Because I, I thought you worked here. You thought I, I worked thought here. I thought you were guarding me, you know? I am not. The security guards usually let you into closed eating establishments after they're closed? It depends. Like, really? That it, happens it, it, sometimes? Of course. Oh, it, yeah. If I ask. If you ask a security guard, they're going to just let you, you in. You do not know me. That's, you do not know, uh. know who I am. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? It's going to be done soon. Are we almost done? Um, what time is it? Time for you to go wherever you were going, I think. Sir, I'm trying to make you famous. No, you're not. Have you ever heard of... Uh, Please don't touch me. Sir, I'm, I'm trying to make you famous. But me touch you, you will become a fucking business. Okay. I promise. Well, now we're done. And okay. you can move along. Okay. So when you, when you see the real half of uh, Atlanta and you don't see yourself, then you know why. Right? Uh-huh. You know what? So I don't like your fucking act. I don't. I don't. If, if, I had, if I had my mind in my class, you know what? I don't like this. So you, Buzz, should, you should move on then. If you don't like me and I'm standing here and you stop to bother me, you should just keep going, right? But you, but you know what? You should sure appreciate the fact that I'm trying to I do, but I think I'm that, trying to, I make, think our, I'm trying to I get think some change I, in your pocket. I think don't our, you want your your pockets fat? Minutes, our 15 minutes are done. Then you want your pack in your pockets fat? It's been 15 minutes yet. Sir, have you ever heard of Telemundo? I have not heard of Telemundo. Oh, sir. Is that on the moon? Don't get me out. Sir, I am the co-founder of Telemundo. Okay. Sir, all right. All right, okay, I'm sorry. Have a good night. What was your name? Frank. Frank, I'm sorry, Frank. I'm sorry we, we were not able to come to an agreement, but I was going to get you the next... Damn it, I could have had that. Nello, exactly. I could have had a Telemundo or whatever you could have had a tele. It's called Telenovela. Oh, I could have had a Telenovela. Just about me and you... Frank. Me Frank. waiting for your boss yeah. and you Frank. standing here bothering me. All these people. All right, all right, nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you for the time. Okay. I hope you get, you do your thing, man. Word up, brother. Be, be uh, whatever this shit is. I what, what's the test? Be a security guy. I think. I think. Do your thing, man. I could have done my thing. You're going to Ah, whatever you just said, brother. I'm not quite sure what it is. Diddy dum diddy do. You look good. You look fine. Look fine. Look good. Look fine. Got a mind. Hello. 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 The road's now closed because Fast and Furious 7 is filming there. So if I die tonight walking home through the ghetto, it's because Fast and Furious 7 closed down 7th Street to film their incredibly unnecessary movie. Wish me luck. That? They don't want any video of this. It's uh -huh. a closed set. But what, what is it? What's going on here? I honestly don't know. I'm so far away from anything. But no, but what, what are they calling? They called it uh, Ramsey. It's a movie coming out next year. thought it was Fast and Furious 7. Then you know more than I do, dude. I've been over here in this damn lockup, bro. If it is, I don't get to see any of this stuff. You're not allowed to say it's Fast and Furious 7? They funny. don't tell us. You know, I don't. You what? You again? I'm a farthest away from any action. Yeah, but you know what? What picture you're working no. on? They tell us to just put Ramsey. On. No, I'm I'm getting that, but you know it's Fast and Furious Seven. No, I don't. I'm not near that. I've been here all night. This is my only day here. I'm not. I'm not with the crew regularly. You don't know what movie you're working on? No, I don't dig into it. I just want the check. I don't fucking care what I'm shooting. All right. Have a good night, man. We gotta have something for scam cameras. Let's go. You want something on the roof? Because Mr. Adams is fair housing. Hey, yo, you know me? 
No, you gonna look down at me like that for you know me? But why you look at me and look down like that? I don't even see you. Oh, okay. God bless you, man. God bless you. You too, man. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Giulia, one more block to go. Scared as fuck. <laughs> 